we'll begin in a child's pose once again. Touch your big toes together, separate your knees, sit your hips onto your heels, bring your forehead to the ground and reach your arms out in front of you. Come inward to focus on the breath. Breathing deeply through the nose and hold here. From here, slowly make your way up to a hands and knees position. Bring your shins to parallel. Knees are underneath your hips. Hands are underneath your shoulders. All your fingers are spread wide apart, looking down to come to a neutral spine or flat back. From here, tuck your toes. Come to a cow pose by looking up and forward, spreading your shoulders and your collarbones wide apart and bringing your back into an arch. On your exhale, untuck the toes. Come to cat pose by curving the spine in the opposite way, reaching the upper back towards the ceiling and looking towards the thighs. Inhale, come to your cow pose. Exhale, come to your cat pose. And continue to move on your own breathing. With each inhale, come here to your cow. And with each exhale, come here to your cat pose. We'll slowly come to a flat back neutral spine. From here, we'll take a tricky cat. So raise your right leg up behind you. Bring it in line with the rest of your body. Heel facing the ceiling. Toes are facing the floor and your foot is flexed. From here, lift your left arm out in front. Palm facing the center line of the body. Your spine is still straight and neutral here. Hold here, reaching forward with your hand and reaching backwards with your heel. Maintain this pose and from here, curl your body in, bringing your knee in towards your elbow looking down exhale come back and reach inhale here exhale curl in and reach out curl in and reach out repeat this several times breathing deeply And reach out here and bring the hand and the knee down. From here we'll take that on the other side. Reach the left leg out behind you. Heel is facing the ceiling. Toes are facing the ground. The foot is flexed. From here reach your right hand out in front of you. Palm facing the center. 
hold here and reach in opposing directions from your hand to your heel. From here, we'll take a curl, just as we did on the other side. Bring your elbow in towards the knee, and then reach it out. Repeat, curl in, and reach out. Continue to move for several repetitions here. And hold. And then bring the hand and the foot down or the knee down to the floor. From here, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. And you're gonna move in your downward dog, pedaling through your legs. Alternate bending and straightening, gently stretching the muscles in your hips, warming them up in your legs. Slowly come to stillness. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. On your next inhale, raise your heels all the way up. Bend your knees, look forward. Take as many steps as you need to bring your feet up to a half forward fold. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, come up to standing. Reach your arms up, exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Standing up tall in mountain pose, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. From here, we'll move through several sun breaths. So those are abbreviated sun salutations as we've been doing throughout the 30 days here. Inhale, rotate the arms around and raise them up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the floor, relax your head over, bend your knees if your hands don't touch the ground. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Once more, inhale, rotate the arms around and raise them up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands to your shins, look up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up to standing once again. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Inhale, rotate the arms around and raise them up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. From here, we'll take one sun salutation A or Surya Namaskara A. Once again, standing up tall in mountain pose. Inhale, rotate the arms around and raise them all the way up. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, look up halfway. 
This time on your exhale, plant your palms flat onto the floor. Step back one foot at a time into a plank pose. Hold plank, take a deep breath in and out here. And on your following exhale, lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Hold here for three deep inhales and exhales. On your next inhale, raise your heels, bend your knees, look forward. Take as many steps as you need to come up to a half forward fold at the top of your yoga mat. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, hands down by your sides. From here, we'll come to a seated position on the ground. And before you sit down, come to grab your yoga block. We did this pose yesterday. Bring your heel in towards the pelvis on the left, so bending your left leg. Stretch your right leg out to the side. Flex your right foot, right knee, and right toes are facing the ceiling. For this one, we're going to come into a yin version of this pose, so taking the block, place it in front. I'm going to place mine at the highest height here, and I'm going to come to a forward fold, placing my forehead on top of the block. You may need to adjust once your head is down here and you have a better understanding of what you need. You might need to stack yoga blocks. You might need to add some height, whatever you would need. You also can lower the block if you're feeling like you can go a bit lower. We'll be holding this for quite some time. So make sure you're comfortable. Place your hands on either sides of the block, palms facing the ceiling. Both of your sits bones are even on the ground. Close your eyes, come inward, focus on the breath. Breathing deeply through the nose.
Gently bring some motion back into your body. Lift yourself up and switch sides. Straighten the left leg out. Flex the, or bend the right leg in. Flex the left foot. Knee and toes are facing the ceiling. Heel, the right heel is in towards the pelvis. We'll bring the block back in front. And if this side is different than the other side, you might need to adjust. Play around with it, see what works best for you. And once you're settled here, place your hands down, palms facing up. Close your eyes, come inward once again. Bring some gentle motion back into your body. Slowly make your way up to a seated position. Set the block off to the side for now. Come to lying on your back. From here, bring your feet hips distance apart. Knee pointed, knees are pointed up towards the ceiling. We'll take both of the legs and drop them over to the left. Keeping your feet where they are. Once you're settled here, look over to the right. Reach your right arm out to the side. You can bend it up here for a bit of a chest opening or straighten it out all the way. It's up to you. Place your other hand on your abdomen or on the ground. Whatever works, whatever is comfortable for you here will be remaining here for quite some time. Close your eyes and deepen your breath once again.
Slowly bring some motion back into your body and bring everything back through the center. We'll take that on the other side. Place your feet flat on the floor once again, knees are pointed up. Keep your feet where they are and just drop your knees over to the right. Looking over to the left, reach your left arm out. Right hand is on your abdominals or on the ground. Breathe here. Slowly come back through the center. And from here we will take a Shavasana. Straighten your legs out onto the ground. Separate them apart. Place your hands down by your sides. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes. Come inward once again. Once again, come back to the breath, focusing on the inhales and the exhales.
Bring some gentle, slow movement back into your body. Bend your legs and roll to the right side, resting there for a moment. Use your hands to help you come up to a seated cross-legged position. Cross your shins, flex your feet under your knees, sit up tall, hands to your legs, close your eyes, and deepen the breath. Take a moment here to reflect on the 30-day challenge. What did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about your yoga practice? What were your high points and your low points? Just take a moment to think about all the things that we learned and what we've done over the past 30 days of yoga. And take a moment to say thank you to yourself for taking the time out of your life to do what you need to do to be healthy to add yoga into your life in whatever way that you can and also congratulate yourself for completing the whole 30 days even if you skipped a few days or if it wasn't perfect that's totally fine just you have completed this challenge no matter what you made it to day 30 so say congratulations to yourself and give yourself some gratitude And bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Namaste.